Beast Man? Oh, it's horrible. Hey everyone, um, for today's video, I am going to be watching yet another war film, Black Hawk Down. Um, I believe that is a UH-60. I like, you know, knowing the backgrounds on each aircraft, aircrafts, planes, helicopters, uh, they're a guilty pleasure of mine, so I like learning about them. But what I can gather from this film, that it's just based off the title, that this helicopter is down. It gets shot down or it crashes or something, I think is going to be about a rescue operation. That's the best thing that I can guess, um, so I know it's gonna be tense. It's gonna be very intense and I can't wait to watch it. But before we get any further, if you're not subscribed, you should totally consider subscribing. It helps the channel a lot and I would really appreciate it. And if you happen to watch my, want to watch my full length reactions, my Patreon will be down below in the description. Um, if you want to check that out as well. So without further ado, let's get into the movie. Have you ever struggled with product portioning, are left with a huge mess that takes forever to clean up, and too many ingredients you can't make use for? Well, I have a solution that has worked for me. HelloFresh is a meal kit service that saves you time with cooking, cleanup, and is healthy. HelloFresh caters to your dietary preferences with a large selection of recipes to choose from, with 50 different weekly options, and every recipe includes fresh produce sourced directly from farmers. I personally like their vegetarian and pescatarian options. With recipes such as those, they typically require a ton of items and I'm left wasting so much food and money. But HelloFresh comes with pre-portioned ingredients so all you have left to do is follow the cute little recipe cards and put everything together with almost no waste. I don't know what's more sustainable than that, and I'm all about the environmentalism. Today, I made this delicious apricot almond and chickpea tagine, and I honestly had no idea what that was, but it was so fun to make and it came out so delicious. If quick, easy, and sustainable cooking wasn't what I wanted, I would still recommend trying HelloFresh just for their unique and delicious recipes. So what are you waiting for? Go to HelloFresh.com and use code VICUNIA16 for up to 16 free meals and 3 surprise gifts. I'll say it once and I'll say it again. Use code VICUNIA16 for up to 16 free meals and 3 surprise Prize gifts. I had so much fun cooking this delicious meal. Thank you so much to our sponsor, HelloFresh. <gasps> oh, it's gonna be a depressing movie, isn't it? Where are my tissues? I don't have them. Muhammad Far Farah Adid, the most powerful of the warlords, warlords rules the capital. Wow, I cannot, I'm gonna stop reading. That's disgusting, that is disgusting. These are innocent people. That's heartbreak, I can't even do that. Mm, I'm already tearing. Oh my gosh. <gasps> Right, because the starvation, but you're ruining the food! Why are you- Oh my gosh. <laughs> we got unarmed civilians getting shot down here at 9 o'clock! Russian kids behind ya! Mohammed behind it! Absolutely not. Can't you blow them up? I don't see what I'm asking. Oh, I thought he was gonna land the helicopter on the car! Late, and they'll call you back. The confidence on this man. Six weeks you're trying to catch the general. We're not leaving Somalia until we find him. This is our war, not yours. 300,000 dead and counting. That's not a war, Mr. Ito. That's genocide. That is genocide. That is the definition of genocide. Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Cliff Elvis Walcott. I'll be your pilot this afternoon. For those of you who rode our Mogadishu Free to Flyer program, you'll be earning 100 foot credits this afternoon. And as always, the air sickness bags are located in the seat back in front of you. Funny guy over here. They're so gonna get shot down, aren't they? I'm gonna say that it's them who gets shot down. I don't know if it'd be that simple though. Doesn't have to be in the dictionary! It does have to be in the dictionary! That's a nice beach down there. How's the water? Yeah, it's nice and warm. Is that who I think it is? There's no way. Looks like Orlando Bloom. That's not him, right? It is Orlando so what's it like? Bloom. What's what like? I didn't know 
Who's Probably in this? Firstly, it's the Moog. Or simply Moog. No one calls it Moog issue here. Secondly, I wouldn't know about Wait, the fighting still now. Oh my gosh, what's his name? Uh, 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 what's his name? Star Wars, Star Wars. Uh, mm, mm. Nico! I love you too. Reporting for duty. Not to me, you're not. You're reporting to Lieutenant Beals. You should be around here somewhere. Draws your weapon. Yes, sir. Want me to shoot? I'm arrested. When'd you get in? Just now, Sergeant. Ewan McGregor! That's his name! Oh my gosh. Wait, Tom Hardy's in it? Okay, well, really, I was right. Oh, well, there's so many good people in the cast. Sergeant. That's a good burger. Oh, just some aerial target practice, sir. Talking about your weapon. You know better than that. Your safety should be on at all times, my baby. Big yikes. That's my safety, sir. That's, you will get reprimanded for that. Speak up. You say this is your safety? Well, this is my boot, son. And it will fit up your ass with the proper amount of force. I didn't see you at church on Sunday, soldier. You had something more important to do? Oh, please Not stop. on Sunday, you don't. Please stop. Not anymore. Oh, no. Uh, you are in uh, deep doo-doo. He looks like he's gonna vomit. Quick word, specialist. Tell me, Pilla. You understand why we have a chain of command, don't you? Because if I ever see you undermining again, you'll be cleaning the trains with your tongue, so you can't taste the difference between shit and french fries. Oh, God. That's awful. That's one threat I never thought I'd hear. Jesus, that is... Ugh, ugh. We have two things that we can do. We can either help, or we can sit back and watch country destroy itself on CNN. I don't know about you guys, but I was trained to fight. You trained to fight, son? Well, I think I was trained to make a difference, Kurt. I love that. He has a good heart. So pure. Is that how you make deals? You just start shooting the air? It's like every interaction that they have. They, if they have a gun, they're like, all right, I'm just going to shoot in the air. Portray my emotion. Today we go. 1545 Assault Force Delta will infiltrate the target building. Don't underestimate their capabilities. Let's go get this thing done. Good luck, gentlemen. So high stress. One wrong move and you're dead. I really respect those who serve our country or have served it. Ultimate respect. We going? Listen, Smith, I need you to back me up out there today, all right? Keep sharp. Yes, sir, Sergeant Eversman. It's gonna be nothing. Nothing. The basket's the other way. <laughs> Come back. Your wish has been granted. You're going out today. You're fucking me. You're taking my place, Assistant Six to Gunner. Sergeant Eversman said to get your stuff and get ready. That's what you wanted, isn't it? Oh yeah, hell yeah. He didn't actually want it. He's nervous, he's so nervous. Look, you guys, I know this is my first time as truck leader, but uh, this isn't our first time out together. This is serious. We're Rangers, that's some sorry ass JROTC. Ouch, <laughs> sorry ass. Didn't have to put it like that. <laughs> I don't know about you, but I'm not planning on getting shot in the back running away. Well, I better keep mine in. The most important thing is remember when everybody else is shooting, shoot in the same direction. <laughs> oh, you must feel so nervous. I'm not taking out death letter. I have a deal. Get you back in an hour. Blackburn. You okay? Excited. You ever shot at anybody before? No, sorry. Me neither. So it's definitely mixed feelings. Some people are excited, some people are nervous, some people feel a bit of both. Can't be easy going into a situation as hostile as this. Oh, she wasn't sleeping, she was getting groceries. AMD, come in. Is this the play? To my right hand side above the cafe. Asthma? My brother in. He sounds scared shitless. That's it. That's our signal. Pull QRF out of the airspace. My shoulders are all tense from this. Oh no. I don't even know how to relax them right now. I feel really, really ugh. I feel like I'm at the edge of my seat. So maybe it isn't a rescue mission, you know? They're not all too far from that area, I'm assuming. So what is it? One of the helicopters definitely gets shot down, but then what? Is it just all out war between them? Oh, he's scary. <gasps> oh, they're getting ready. Oh no, oh no, no. 
Okay, maybe they're not so close to the point. I have been mistaken. Ooh, look at that formation. Beautiful. Okay, so the helicopter doesn't get shot down. I was already wrong in my prediction. Okay, good to know. <laughs> so bad at this. Wendy, no fear! Oh, yeah, right! <laughs> Shoot it at us! Oh, no. Shoot back! You, know, you don't hear that? Like, he doesn't hear it. Like, he hasn't noticed the bullets just flying past his face. Oh, Hold on! Oh! oh my gosh! No! That was close. Are you kidding me? Jesus. We need to get him out of here! Yeah! We'll get a stretcher in here! Get him to the target building! Okay! Number 6 one, we had a blast on the right. We got a man wounded on the ground. He fell on his back. It's not even something you can really treat. You know, you gotta keep him straight, aligned, see what's going on. Oh my gosh. Kilo 1 1, this is 6 1. Providing sniper cover for prisoner extract. That's it. What were they? We got him. Let's pull out! Hold on! So I don't really know what happened in the actual event, but the scene building is very good. It feels like you're there experiencing this. It's very tense. It keeps you on the edge of your seat. And I just think it's done very well so far. Get out of there, get out of there. Go, 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 go. Very accurate response. I would have yelled the same thing, honestly. Stuker, you'll need Humphrey. First three vehicles, mount up. We're moving back to base. They they blew that man up. Oh, oh. Direct hit. Get on that 50. He just got killed in that position. Imagine being the individual to take charge of the situation. Not take charge of the situation, but take charge of this position. Such a dangerous position. That takes guts, man. Super 6 1 is hit. He is hit. Walcott's bird is hit. Okay, so, so one of them did get shot down. Maybe it is a rescue mission? We got a Black Hawk down, we got a Black Hawk down. They just said the title. I'd be very impressed if he did the little circles. I don't even know how they would do that. <laughs> I'll finish all the prisoners to pick you up at the grass site. All right, well, let's move out. Improvising this situation is so high stress. Oh. <laughs> that was a uh, a close call if I've ever seen one. Oh my goodness. Convoy, convoy, please. What? I think they've forgotten us. What? Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. <laughs> That's one way of looking at it. A lot of people closing in. <gasps> no. They just survived a helicopter crash and they have to fight for their lives now. No! Shoot. That was a really bad move on his part, but he did maybe he did trust that he had uh they had his back. Oh my gosh, 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 oh no. Holy oh. Those are children! Those are children. He's had his body on him that entire time. Orlando Bloom's character didn't even have a chance. <gasps> Ooh. 
The fact that his eyes are wide open is adds a really scary factor to it. His brains, or some, not even his brains, his flesh. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Take the southeast corner. We're setting up a perimeter. Over. <laughs> This is so brutal. They're surrounded. <gasps> Wait, I don't understand. Why did he just steal someone's hand? Oh. <gasps> Are you kidding? They're just being taken out one by one. I can't, I can't watch this. The amount of stress this is putting me under, I'm actually getting a headache. Both pilots are dead. We can't move these guys, Maddie. We'll kill them just carrying them. Super 6-4, come inbound and take Walcott's position. 6-4 is inbound. The fact that they can, under pressure, strategically make moves in order to protect one another is outstanding. That is so impressive. Not another one, no! It's done. It's done. It's gone. It's gone. It's gone. I thought it was just one of them that goes down. We're ah! really pointing the great building. Coming through, Captain. Sword. All right, let's move. This has to be one of the most intense war films I have ever watched. It's just constant, constant fighting, constant action. It is hard to watch. He's okay. A ground team is being organized to go in now. Wasting time here. All right, refit, max out ammo and grenades. You got five. Can't go back up there. It's what you do right now that makes a difference. One thing I'm really liking about this movie is that they're showing you the stress that all of these men are under. And I really like the way that it's being depicted. It is a depiction, but I can only trust it, you know? Which way? That way, I think! <gasps> so fucking loud! Because he's lo losing his hearing. He can't even gauge how loud he's speaking. Or lost it completely. Rangers! Oh! It's Yurik! You fucking asshole! <laughs> Fuck! No, we almost fucking killed you! Well, come to us! Fuck you! Come to me! I was gonna say, it looked like that was his own teammate. Friendly fire over here? Fuck! Get the fuck out of here and he's back! <laughs> Fire! When this asshole stops to reload, cover me! No! Sir! This asshole. <laughs> I like that everybody's just always insulting one another or the other people, just always cursing. Quickly! He's out in the open. That's tough. Oh! Brad's gonna go in and set up a perimeter until ground support arrives. Realize that I cannot tell you when that might be. It could take quite a while. You still want to go in there? Yes, sir. Sacrifices. Impressive. There's a fucking rocket in him, sir! Bitch. Oh my god. The RPG was just lodged in him. You cannot believe this shit! Turn us around, Maddie! They're trying to get us all fucking killed, aren't they, sir? Just get it over with! God damn! Keep your foot on the gas! Jesus Christ, man! Oh, it's horrible! This is a nightmare! Hey, these skitties come around these corners! You watch our backs! Where's the rescue squad? We're it! That's very comforting. Oh, he's like, oh, I'm done. I'm, I'm dead. Bring him back. Get him out of there. The convoy's headed back to base camp. We're gonna hold the strong point. Who? Oh, oh, oh. Serve your ammo. Only shoot up what you can hit. The convoy's gonna come. That's a good order. We're gonna get home. There's an entire horde of them! I can't tell between civilian or friggin' menace! Oh, there's just some of them are just throwing rocks. They probably also think that. They probably also think that like the U.S. is just kind of like invading their spot. That's probably why civilians come in and probably throw rocks. They're done. They're done. They're done. Jesus. What is... 
He's alone. They're like parading the dead enemies around. Like, that's disgusting. That's disgusting behavior. Anyone dead, you respect the dead. Disgusting, man. Muhammad Farah Aydin, Ayan in Kamnalo, Kuruba! This is really difficult to watch. What was smoking on his back? Okay, that's the first thing he asked was if he still had his balls. Alright. Alright, let me get a look at that. Throw up. Command Chalk 4 is requesting medevac. Can't risk it, it's still too hot. Captain, we cannot send in medevac at this time. Set tide over. Oh, All right. Oh, I got him. Oh, oh, direct pressure Jesus. on the roof. Yeah. I can't watch this. I can't watch that. Oh my gosh. I didn't realize how difficult of a movie this would be to watch. Sir, they're still debating the route. How long? At least a couple hours. We haven't got that long, Joe. You tell the general this. It is imperative that we move them out of the hostile area and into the safe zone. Yes, sir. I would hate to be the messenger. I... Why they can't just call each other? Hash it out? There's always the messenger. Never works out. It just makes people angrier. My government will never negotiate for me. You have the power to kill, but not negotiate. In Somalia, killing is negotiation. There will always be killing, you see? This is how things are in our world. It's not wrong, but there's an actual genocide going on. If they can stop it or try to help it, they will. Are you in car keys? Oh no, his dog tags. It's the femoral artery, but I can't see it. It's so which means that it's retracted up into the pelvis, which means that I have to find it and clamp it. Jesus Christ. The only way to stop the bleeding, I, I got no more IVs, so I'm gonna need you to assist. No, I, I can't, guys, I can't watch. I can't watch this. That's it, I can't watch it. I need you to hold the wound open and keep Stop. pressure on the top of the leg. I can't watch you're, this. You're gonna take the feet and the flashlight on my gun. Oh, no. All right, Jamie. Mm -hmm. Three. Oh. <laughs> oh. I, can't. I can't watch this. Please, I don't make I wanna throw up. I wanna throw up. I wanna throw up. I wanna throw up. Dark, it's, it's going, it's going hold back it. in. It's hold scary. it! Oh, they didn't. They didn't fix it. He's gonna bleed out, isn't he? I I can't handle this, guys. I feel so queasy. How'd you like a nice hot cup of joe? Sit down. I'm gonna take a look at that foot. Where the hell did they find you? Behind a desk. They found you at a Starbucks, apparently. A barista. I just keep reliving what they had to do to his leg to get his artery. That's never gonna leave my mind. You guys know that. It's never gonna leave my mind. Not bad. That was gutsy. That was, that was impressive. Bye. Bye bye. So that's some sneakiness right there. Ground personnel will have to mark target positions with infrared strobes. Colonel Harrell, ground personnel at crash site one will have to mark the target with infrared strobes in preparation for airstrike. Airstrikes? Oh, they're rolling out? They're rolling out. Rev, yeah. do me a favor. You tell my parents that I fought well today, that I fought hard. He just died. He just died. No, he's gone. Just when you don't think the movie can get any more stressful, it, it, it does. Sergeant, you can't control who gets hit or who doesn't, who falls out of a chopper or why. It ain't up to you. It's just war. Smith's still dead. You got your men this far. I need to start thinking about getting these men out of here. I'm genuinely just sitting here kind of like in shock and I just... Irishman, I can't tell who's who down there. Too much activity. I'll mark the target with the strobe, over! I'm putting it on the roof! Ready, go! No way that worked. What? Why would you pick it up? I would think it's a bomb immediately and then just not pick it up. 
Oh, they got blasted. They got blasted hard. They thought that it was going to be just a quick afternoon run. Then it turned into them versus an entire city. 2 a.m. Wow. These bullets are flying right, right past them and they're not even flinching. We get the pilot's bodies out, okay? Then we go to the stadium. They're dismantling the entire cockpit around the body. Well, how long is it gonna take? I need an honest, no shit assessment. I can't say! Danny, no one gets left behind. His shirt looked really soft. I don't know why I just really paid attention to that. Like the texture just looks very comfy. Yeah, using the roof is a terrible idea. I wouldn't even suggest it. Like, hang off the side or something. This child. Or a child. Get down! What are you doing? Damn, do it! Alright, let's go! She probably wanted revenge for her people and possibly family members getting killed. It wouldn't have happened if they didn't roll in. How far was that run as well? Somebody tell me. It's supposed to be a quick in and out, huh? Ah, shit. Bullet missed your jugular by about three millimeters. Don't move. Right, right. A little short on coffee. But I got you some tea. Oh, he's like, this isn't coffee. Get this vomit out of my face. I'm no peasant. <laughs> he's gonna say what Eamon's gonna say. That sent me chills. That gave me chills right there. It's to protect each other. So many deaths, so many permanent injuries. During the raid, over a thousand Somalis died and 19 Americans lost, soldiers lost their lives. He was released? Why would they just release him? That's amazing, but I didn't expect that. The following day, he retired. He, that's all he wanted to do was get him. That was really hard to watch. Of course Hans Zimmer made the music. Oh my goodness. I was gonna say why, I was wondering why the music was so good. That's why. So I just finished watching Black Hawk Down and it was a very difficult film to watch, but also very good. I, I don't know the true events. I'm going to assume that it was very, very um, spot on due to its response. I feel like Black Hawk Down was a very good movie and it was well received because I do think that um, it was done well and I think it stayed true to its events. So that's what I'm assuming when I, you know, talk about it. I feel very tense, but I think that it was done very, very well and it was a great film and I think it de depicted the events very well. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed. I'm sorry if I was really depressing or just just really there were parts that really took it out of me. Oh, and I'm sorry for that. So I hope it didn't, didn't bother you guys too much. But thank you guys for watching and I hope to see you guys in the next video. I need to go lay down after that. So <laughs> bye everyone.